Gail Porter, 50, took to Instagram to share a picture of her injured head alongside the caption, Sleeping is not too comfortable with a fractured skull. Don't have the handbook on comfy sore head sleeps. Hope you're all sleeping well 30. Many of her 32,000 followers flocked to her post to share get well soon messages. Lisa Morish wrote, Oh darling. Laurao 2902 commented, Oh no. I hope you're doing okay and healing well. Sick, sending healing your way. Hope you are getting it seen too, it looks painful, added Emmy Delenia. Looks pathetic Richard Madeley opens up on Emma Celeb's Naughty Boy in response to a concerned fan named Jody Lou 1983, she said the incident happened after a lil fit slash faint. Sick, express.co.uk has contacted a representative for Gail for comment. The former model and actress was left bald by alopecia in 2005. The condition came following her divorce from husband Dan Hipgrave the year before. She has also battled anorexia, postnatal depression and bipolar in previous times. Gail has previously opened up about mental health and candidly discussed her time in the Grove Clinic after being sectioned. She told the May Long Line, when you are suffering from depression as badly as I was, you genuinely believe you will never come out of a place like that. It felt as if I was in the film One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I had been forced into this place with some very, very ill people and we were left to our own devices and to fend for ourselves. Amanda Owen opens up on challenging side of home in Yorkshire, revealed Chloe Madeley addresses unpleasant reaction after helping friend, reaction Alex Beresford causes stir with vaccine claims amid COVID diagnosis, health news, I had no idea how long I had been in there because each day followed exactly the same pattern as the last. Gail went on to say her ex-husband was concerned about the amount of medication she was given by nurses. I was desperate to get out but because I had been sectioned it was illegal for me to leave the hospital. I honestly believed I would never leave, she added. Earlier this year, the television personality urged those struggling with their mental health to seek out. Gail revealed that she still had her wobbly days, but had the support of her daughter Honey. She told the BBC, All I would say is, if you're struggling, phone someone you love. I know social media gets a bad rap but the amount of people I talk to on there who are suffering and reach out, proves there are good people out there. We all have different ways of dealing with our issues. You have to choose the best for you. And feel free to hug me in the street if you need one. The mother of one is an ambassador for the Samaritans, which she credits for getting her through some of her tough times. If you or someone you know has been affected by this story, Samaritans, 116-123, operates a 24-hour service available every day of the year. Alternatively, you can find more information on the Samaritans website here.